teach us how to get Krishna. Labdha sadullam yedum bahusam bhavante manusya marthato manitya mapiya dhira turnam jatedan patedan murtu javat nishraya saya visaya khalu sarvatra syat. Simat Bhagavatam 11th canto says this thing. Labdha sadullam yedum bahusam bhavante manusya marthato manitya mapiya dhira. This human birth uh, is received after undergoing lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of species of life. This one should understand this thing. Labdha Bhushambhavanti. Eighty-four lakhs of species of life are there. Eighty lakhs of species are other than human beings. Only four lakhs of types of human beings. So after undergoing eighty lakhs of species of life, one gets a chance hmm, to get such human birth. You understand? So rare. Durlabham. Rarely achieved. Labdva sudullavidam bhushambhavanti. Sudullava. Sudullava means rarely achieved. Out of 84 lakhs, only 4 lakhs of types are human beings. 80 lakhs other species, you think. Huh? Their number is so great. So you have undergone all these species of life. Then Krishna has given you a chance now, by giving this rarely achieved human birth. What is the purpose of this life? Huh? What is the purpose? Hmm? This is uh, orthoda. You understand? This human life is orthoda. Orthoda means it will give you something which is known as Kipti Purusartha, Panchama Purusartha, Dharma, Artho, Kam, Mukhya. Do you understand? Religiosity, economic development, calm, material, desire, lust, huh? then mokya, liberation. These four are known as four purusarthas. Above these four, fifth one is there. That is known as this Krishna Bhakti. Do you understand? Krishna Bhakti, that is known as Parama Purusartha or fifth Purusartha. This human life is meant for the achievement of that fifth purusha. Do you understand? This is the purpose of the Siman life. Again, anitya. Anitya means temporary. Any moment it may finish. Do you understand? Any moment you can say what will happen the next moment. Can you say? No. You can't say what will happen the just next moment. Do you understand? It's such uncertainty is there. But this human life is Arthada. Hmm. This fifth Purusha Artha, Krishna Bhakti will be achieved. This is the purpose of this human life. One who is an intelligent person, he should understand this thing. Seventh kind of Bhagavatam also you will find. Prahlad Maharaj says, hmm. Durlavam Manusam Janmam Jatta. Adhruvam arthadam. Kaumar asrati pragyam dharmar bhagvatani ho. Durlabam manusam janmam tadapya adhruvam arthadam. You understand? Prahlad Maharas is Mahajan. One of the Mahajanas, one of the twelve Mahajanas. He is considered wise or intelligent who from very boyhood, very childhood begins. Eh? To achieve this fifth Purusartha. Do you understand? Uh-huh. He is Pragya. Pragya means he is wise, he is intelligent. Who from very boyhood begins? Prahlad Maharaj began from when he was in mother's womb. Do you understand? When he was in mother's womb, he started. 
So from, from very childhood he started. You understand? He said that. Kumara se tagyo, dharmaan bhavtaan yo, durlabhum manusam janmam, tadapiyo dhruvum artharam. This manusa janmo, this human bath, durlabha. Durlabha means rarely achieved. And adhruva, artharam. It's temporary. Any moment it will finish, but artharam. It will give you, the opportunity has been given to achieve this fifth pushar. Do you understand? So one who is intelligent, he should, without delay, make a effort to achieve this thing. It is very serious, I must. Turnam jatedanam patedanam rtyu javat nishraya saya visaya phalu sarvatru syat. Next part of the verse says like this. As long as your human body is there, it is, you have not made death, isn't it? As long as one has not made death, he should make this effort to achieve this fifth pursat. Turnam pati idhanu jati idhanu murtu jav nishayo sayo visayo kalusam. But what we see here, all the human beings, mostly all human beings are engaged in what activities? Sense gratification. Eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. You don't understand? Ahara nidra bhaya maithunam. Ahara nidra bhaya maithunam. Eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. All are engaged. You understand? Animal is engaged. You understand? An animal is engaged in four sorts of activities. Eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. Isn't it? Huh? A Worm in this tool, he is also engaged in this poor activity, isn't it? Eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. Huh? Isn't it? He worm in this tool also. That does. Huh? And you being a human being, rarely achieved species. Huh? Durlaho. You also do this, aren't you? Krumenang, Kyodantaram. Is there any difference between that? Worm in this tool and yourself. Ha! Krumenang Kyodantara. Ha! What is that? Worm in this tool is doing. You are doing the same thing. So, is there any difference? Then, your life is meant for attainment of that particular sartha. Whereas, other life is not meant for that. You understand? Turnam pati idam jati idam murtu javat. Nisraya saya visaya pulu sarvata. This visaya sukha, this material enjoyment or sense enjoyment is available in any species of life. Any species of life it is available. Huh? In any planetary systems it is available. Sarge naraka yevatsu. Sarge naraka yevatsu. In the heavenly planet it is available. In hellish planet also it is available. Isn't it? Huh? Sarga Naraka. Sarga Naraka. Heaven and hell. Wherever you may go, huh? you will find the sun's gratification is available. Nisraya saya visaya kharu sarvatru Everywhere it is available. Without any effort. Without any effort it is available. Isn't it? Sarvatra labhyate daivad jatha dukham ajatrato. That is said. Sarvatra labhyate daivad jatha dukham ajatrato. Do you want dukha? Misery? Huh? Nobody wants misery. Unhappiness. Does anybody want? You want? Nobody wants. Huh? All want happiness. Enjoyment. Comfort. Isn't it? Nobody wants. But why it comes? You don't want. Why it comes? Huh? You never make a pot to get misery and unhappiness. Isn't it? You make a pot how to get happiness, enjoyment, comfort. Isn't it? You don't make a pot. Why it comes to you? Huh? This is the cause. Sarvatra labhita daiva jatha dukho jatha. 
Nobody wants dukha. Nobody wants unhappiness, misery. Still it comes. Janma mrityu jara bhyadi dukha dukha. Dosanu darsanu. Vija dukha. But death, old age and disease. Huh? These are unhappiness and miseries here in this material world. Huh? Nobody wants this thing till it comes. Huh? Does anybody make some effort for this? Still it comes. Daivat lapyate, sarvatra lapyate daivat, jatha dukhus, as this dukhas, unhappiness, misery, huh? is achieved without any effort. Similarly, this sense enjoyment is achieved without any effort. Why are you making effort for this? Huh? What do you say? Allah gives so much effort, toiling hard like an ass. Gurdhubir matu ami kori parishu. Kaar lagi otto kor naguchi lo bhrom. Huh? Gurdhubir matu. Like an ass toiling so hard. Isn't it? Ass is very, an animal of low consciousness, very low consciousness. Huh? Beast of burden. Isn't it? Huh? Beast of burden. Isn't it? All is carries very heavy load. Huh? Very heavy load. All is carries. Toils very hard. Do you understand? Mm, his master beats him. Mm. You understand? Still carries and goes on. Mm. For what purpose? Huh? Only two purposes. He knows only two things, nothing else. Do you know? Huh? What does ass no? Huh? Why? Why is the ass toil so hard? Huh? Get something to eat in the end. Only two purposes, a bundle of grass and to do sex. Nothing else. Do you understand? Only a bundle for a bundle of grass and do sex. Only two things he knows. He knows nothing. You understand? For this, but to fulfill these two purposes, it all so hard. Gurdhubir matu ami kori purishra. Kaal lagi oto koro naguchi Do you understand? Mahajan says. I was saying about Mahajan. Huh? Mahajan, who is your real friend? Real. Huh? Real friend. Who never cheats you. Isn't it? So-called friend cheats you here. Yeah. In this material world. Do you understand? Yes. But this Mahadana Sadhu is your real friend. So he says, Oh, why are you doing? Why are you toiling so hard? Like an ass. Huh? You can't understand. For what purpose are you doing? For whom are you doing? Huh? For whom are you doing? And for what purpose? Nangu Chilpa. Do you understand? Huh? Then Sadhu comes and gives this instruction. Huh? What is the purpose of your life? You should understand what is the purpose of life. And it's, it's, it's uncertain. Any moment is, this life may go, finish. Death will come at any moment. Any moment death will come. You can't say. Why are you wasting your life? Rarely achieved life, so valuable life. He gives you such instruction. Do you understand? You you will find here the matter of what people are doing. Huh? Such ignorant fools. Ahani Akutarto Korona Nisi Nisoyana Nana Manavtodiya Chanabhugnu Nidra Daivo Hatarthana Rusaya Upidiva Jusmad Prasanga Bimukha Yasan Saranti. Do you understand? Nisi <laughs> Nisoyana. The whole daytime. Do you understand? The whole daytime they are engaged. Huh? They are engaged in toiling very hard. Like an ass to earn money. To earn money. Money, money, money. Brighter than sunshine, sweeter than honey. Isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> money, money, money. Isn't it? Yeah. Brighter than sunshine, sweeter than honey. <laughs> that toiling hard, so hard only for this money, money, money. Honey, Aprutar, honey means the whole daytime. Whole daytime, that toiling, toiling, toiling. Then, after toiling so hard, when day is finished, there is evening, they come back home to take rest. <laughs> Whole days, <laughs> hard, <laughs> for labor, toiling, and let me go and take rest. But what to be done? Nisi nisoyama, no sleep, sleepless night, no sleep. Then go to doctor. Oh, doctor, can you give me some sleeping pill? Oh, I will sleep. I can't sleep. Give me some medicine. Sleeping pill, you see. They go and approach doctor to get sleeping pill only to sleep, but cannot sleep. Nisi nisoyana. Still cannot sleep. The sleep, the pill fails also. No sleep. Why? Why no sleep? Nana manartho dhiya. Nana manartho dhiya. Chono bhognu nidra. So many metallistic thoughts haunting the mind. Oh, that thing happens there. My business is there. That person doesn't take, took money, didn't give. So much interest is there. Huh? That project is lying up there. The workers are not doing good. They are cheating. So many. Isn't it? So many thoughts, materialistic thoughts, haunting the mind. Nana manarathadhyaya. By chance it's so light. Sleep is there. Breaks suddenly. Here is that. Do you understand? You have accumulated some black money. Isn't it black money? You know? Kaladhan black money. Don't you? Yes. This you said here, black money? Yes? You know it, huh? You have accumulated some black money. Isn't it? So, government is also uh, going to assess tax on you. This person has so much. He must pay. What is that? Income tax. Wealth tax. That tax. That tax. Isn't it? Assessing so many taxes. Government people are coming uh, to check your property. Uh, you are cheating. Do you understand? And also, that is, that thought is also haunting your mind. Eh? And some dakayat will come, thief will come. Isn't it? They will attack you, stab you, take away your wealth. That fear is there. So you have mm, uh, engaged security guard also. Eh? And many here in Western world are kept the dogs, Alsatian dogs. They will at night mm, watch. And the dog barks, bow, bow, hey, hey, hey. These government people came. Oh, Jagat Dema, chor, chor, chor. See, see. Nana, Manur Sadhya, Thiyanu Bhagunu Nita. The sleep breaks. Cannot sleep. Cannot sleep. You see? Nana, you see? What is this life? You cannot sleep. You cannot sleep peacefully. Such is this. Dhono chinta is dhono chinta. Only this thought of uh, money, wealth, enjoyment, money, wealth, enjoyment, like this. No other thought is that. Bishu chinta. Do you understand? Nana manarthadiya khyanabhugna nidra. Daiva hotartha rachana rusayo pideva. Jusmad prasanga vimukha yosun sarunti. Do you understand? You are making so many plans and projects. So many plans and projects. You are making. You are very expert person. Very intelligent. Very expert. Very expert plan maker. Do you understand? Very expert plan maker. You have made so nice plans. But Daiva Hatartha was not. But Daiva Providence breaks it. They break it. 
Isn't it? No, we didn't break Sarvati. Because Krishna says, Anumanta, Upadrashta, Bhatta, Bhukta, Maheshwara, I am the sanctioning authority, ultimate sanctioning authority. Krishna is the ultimate sanctioning authority. You make you made your plan sanctioned by the government here. Yeah. Isn't it plan? Government sanctions in India they sanction. Such plan project government will give sanction, although it you cannot huh? execute it. Do you understand? So you made it sanctioned by the government. Very you engaged. Mm. Very expert plan makers. They made very nice plans. You did everything. Do you understand? And you engage nice expert workers to work on it. Do you understand? You did everything. You put so much I say, capital, capital, you know, so much invested, so much capital to execute it. You do it everything, but it fails. What happens? It fails. Why it fails? Because Krishna providence, Supreme Lord is the ultimate sanctioning authority. Anumanta, Upadrashta, Bhurta, Bhukta, Maheshwara, Krishna. I am the ultimate sanctioning authority. Unless Krishna sanctions, nothing can take place. Even a blade of grass will not sack. Isn't it? If, if Krishna doesn't sanction, doesn't will, you see, even a blade of grass will not sack, you see. Is the ultimate sanction everything. That is the ultimate sanction one should get. Daivong Evatro Unchoma. Isn't it? 18th chapter. Bhagavad Gita says. Huh? What is that verse? Huh? Adhisthanam Adhakurta Karanam Cha Prathavidha Vividha Chesta Daivong Evatro Unchoma. Fifth factor are there. Isn't it? Don't worry. Don't you know it? Adhisthanam tathakartha karnamcha tuthakvidha vividhachashta daivam evatra panchama. These are fifth factors. Five factors are there. Haryal. Activity to execute it successfully. Do you understand? First thing, adhisthanam. Field of activity. Do you understand? Your field of activity is very nice. Huh? Do you understand? What is his name? Anil. 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 Do you understand? Field of activity is very nice. Favorable activity you are. Field you are. Field of activity. Oh, this Karta. You are, a, you are an expert worker. Do you understand? You are an expert worker. Karta. Karanam Do you understand? Different, different types. Very expert instruments. Nice. Huh? Modern, modern invented instruments. Huh? You have to work on it. That you have. Then, Vivida Chesta. You make various efforts how to execute it nicely. In spite of all these things, Taibam Eva Trapancha, fifth factor is Taiba Providence. If that providence doesn't sanction, Supreme Lord doesn't sanction, in spite of all these things, your plan, project fails. Huh? Isn't it? Also you'll find it. In India, we think all projects fail, all projects fail. Going loss, 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 loss. They go so. They go on like that. Because of this, the fifth factor is Daiva. Daiva Iba Huh? Then, Rusayopideva, just not Prasanga Bimka, your son Santi. One may be, ah, Rusi or Deva. Ah, one may have achieved very elevated position like Deva, demigods, they have achieved. So, a higher planetary systems, you understand, in material ah, world, one may achieve such a higher positions. Maybe Muni, Rusi or Deva. Just not Prasanga, if he is not interested in this Krishna Prasanga, Krishna Katha. Do you understand? Not interested in Krishna Katha. Not Padre, the Jadirati, Vishwakasena Katha Suja, 
নোৎপাদিত যদি রথি সময়ে
But Shastra says, Mahasana says, don't be a slave to the mind. Become the master of the mind, go Swami. Don't become Godas. So Manushikha, they have written Manushikha. Teaching the mind, he has said, Manare, Dhanamadu Nithanta Osha. Dhanamadu Nithanta Osha. E Dhanamadu Vita Jato, E Dehara Anugato, Deho Gele Se Sakalat Shar. Says, oh mind, this thought of earning money, you understand? Dhanu Parjan, must be insignificant thing. Asar, nasty thing. You understand? Jano jano vito jato, ye dehera anugato. Deho gele se sakal cha. The material asset, wealth, money, whatever you say, they are, they are all related to this body, isn't it? When this body is finished, is that? Do they follow you? Well, body is finished, everything is finished. Huh? Life long you toiled so hard, earned so much money, accumulated so much wealth. But when you, your body is finished, you died, then do they follow? Will never follow you. You understand? Vidyar jyote kuchya sta, chikishya ka upadya sta, keho deho ra ki baare naare. Do you think that your wealth or money will help you to make you survive, to keep up your life? Huh? If death will come, your wealth or money will save you? Huh? From the cruel hands of death, khara, chai, Huh? Can it save you? No. Keho de hora kibarina. Nobody can help you. Do you understand? Ojopa, uh, when he says, Deho matrobo says, Jibonahi takena adhari. Niswase no ibo viswas, the breathing, the life force, you see, is breathing, is going on. Huh? Breathe in, breathe out. Do you understand? Breathe in, breathe out. As long as this is going on, huh, then your life is there. It's like that. Huh? Pran by. When somebody is unconscious, is going to die, whether it's dead or alive, what do they do? They huh, take a piece of some cotton and put here, if it sakes or not. If the breathing is going on or not. Huh? If the pine is not sex, that's how it's dead. Isn't it? It's dead. With no breathing. Last. He breathes his last. He say He breathes his last. Last breath. Finished. No breathing. Huh? That's Ojopa Hile says. Ojopa Hile says, Deho Matra says, Jibo nahi thakye na adhari. That is dead. Vishwase no ibo. Nishwase no ibo vishwase. That you want to say. You cannot rely on this breathing. Any moment it may stop. Isn't it? Huh? Do you rely on it? Huh? Any moment it has gone out. You have breathed out. It may not return. Then it's finished. It breathed is last. It's dead. That he says. So there's no life now here. This metal body is a clump of Clump of material objects, heat of phase of Marudhubhyama, nothing else. This clump, isn't it? Such uncertainty, one should not rely on this breathing. Dhana jodi prana dito, dhani raja na marito. Dhara maro huite rahapana. If dhana, your material wealth, asset or money, huh, mm, will help you in Keeping of, keep up your life, then one who, who is a very wealthy king, he won't die. Because the wealthy king, he has done, he has wealth. Huh? Why die? But he is dying. Dhora Amaro Hita Ravon. You know Ravon? Huh? King of Lanka in Treta Juga, who was killed by Lord Ram, Ram's arrow. Do you understand? 
Uh, he had made a whole his capital, Lanka whole. Uh, do you understand? Covered with gold, covered with gold. Golden houses. These are all golden houses. What houses this is? Wooden house. He had made wooden house. Uh, he had made golden houses. Throughout all his capital. Uh, such wealthy. He was such wealthy person. But he died. He died at last. He said, Dhara Amara with Ravan. Ravan would not have, have death. He said, would not have made death, but he died. Then you can understand this wealth, this money, the material wealth or asset won't help you in your survival. Do you understand? Dhone jodi akhe deho, deho gane nohe keho. Atayam ki kori be dhon? What is the utility of this wealth, your material wealth and money, if he cannot keep up your life, huh? cannot save you from you, from the death? Jodi huh? thake huh? what is the utility? That's why shall we earn money? This question is there. Huh? Why all are engaged in earning money? Money, 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 money. Brighter than sunshine, sweeter than honey. Why that? Isn't it? All oh, this thought is there. Is there any other thought in the mind? Money, 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 money. How can I earn money? How can I earn money? How can I get it? More and more and more. Make nice arrangement of huh? eating, sleeping, defending and mating. Nice arrangement. How can I make? More comfortable, more comfortable, more comfortable. Isn't it? This thought is there in the mind. Is there any other thought? What thought is there in your mind? Same thought. <laughs> Same thought. <laughs> worry, what thought you have? <laughs> what thought you have? <laughs> Can't say. <laughs> I make nice arrangement. <laughs> I think sleeping, defending, and mating, isn't it? Hard struggle for existence, isn't it? All are engaged. Very hard struggle for existence. Jivan Pyamkar Jivan Sungram. Hard struggle for existence. And survival of the fittest, isn't it? One who makes very nice arrangements of the sitting, sleeping, defending, and mating is considered here a fit person. He is a fit person. Isn't it? A fit person. So by far the fittest. But you cannot make the unfit person. Nurohari is an unfit person. He cannot make nice arrangements of eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. Janeswar is an unfit person. Crying, how can I do? What shall I do? You see? Is an unfit person. Survival of the fittest, you see. This is going on here. <laughs> but Mahajan says this thing, Sadhu says this thing. What is the value of this dhana? And also you'll find in Srimad Bhagavatam first candle. When Parikit Maharaj mm, met Kali, you understand? Parikit Maharaj was ruling the whole world, his whole world. He was only emperor, you see. Uh, he was a great devotee of Lord Krishna. Krishna mm, protected him when he was in uh, his mother's womb, you see. He is such a great devotee. Mm. Very strictly he was mm, ruling the country and the principles of dharma. Mm. Personally, he wonders. Personally, he was going out and see that if anybody is breaking the principles of dharma, if somebody was breaking, immediately he was giving punishment. Do you understand? Very strict. Once he was going and he saw one person who looks like a king was put on the garb of a king, but is not a king, not a khetriya. Mm. What he was doing? He was beating a cow 
and bull. Isn't it? First canto. He's beating a cow and a bull. Do you understand? A cow, very lean and thin, mm, crying, shedding tears. Cow was shedding tears. And bull, mm, with much difficulty, mm, was standing on one leg, one leg. Three legs are broken. Three legs were broken. You understand? Only one leg was there. The bull was standing in much difficulty. Still that person, that cruel person, beating that cow and bull. Parikyad Maharaj saw. Then he became so angry. Hey, who are you, Kastam? Who are you, rascal, in my kingdom? Huh? Do you such thing? Don't you think they have no protectors? They are my praja. I am their protector. I am the king. Praja yoti. Yoti praja. One who has taken bath in my kingdom is my praja. Praja, do you understand? Citizen. Subjects are citizen. What do you say? Huh? It's my praja. I am the king. I am the protector. Do you think they have no protector? Huh? Why are you? Uh, pitying them? Who are you? Kastum. Karmana. Not about. Huh? Karmana, not about. Huh? What is that verse? Hmm? Hmm. Advija. Yes. Not about Advija. But you, are, you look like a Khetriyo because you have put on the garb of a Khetriyo. But your very activity shows that you are not a Khetriyo. Huh? You are a Sudra. Only Sudra can do so. Khetriya means who gives protection. Khetrayate Khetriya. That's Khetriya, who gives protection. But without giving protection, you beating huh? that your very activity proves that you are a Sudra. You are a hypocrite. You have put on the garb of a Khetriya, but acts like that. You act like a Sudra. Immediately it drew of sword. Atayanu I will kill you. I will not spare you. I will not spare you. That's my duty as a king. Do you understand? If I won't do this thing, I will fall down from my position. I will commit uh, offense. Uh, I will fall down from my exalted position. I have a kupai, I king. Atayanu I will kill you. He drew out his so immediate. Then, but he was Kali. You understand? His personality of Kali. Mm. Kali is like that. Kali is a Sudra. Kali is a Sudra Sambhava, that's what it said. All are Sudras in Kali. But, outwardly, they look like Khetriyas. Put on the garb of Khetriyas, but not no, real Khetriyas. Mm. Then Kali saw that Parikhid Maharaj won't spare me. You must kill me. So immediately he put up few of his guards, then fell flat at his feet. That means took he took surrender and surrendered and the feet of Parikit Maharaj. He said, I am Kali. Kali Juga is now has come, is my time has come, so I have come. Kali means an age of sinful activity. You understand? It's called Pap. Adharma Rabandha. Adharma means irreligiosity. Pap. Sinful activity. That's calling. I have come, but in your kingdom, I cannot find place where to stay. Because nobody is doing sinful activity. Huh? So I find no place where to stay. Therefore, I was just making some place. I, you, you got me. Huh? You got me. What shall I do? Please give me place. And that's also Khetriya's duty, king's duty. If someone will take shelter, he will not kill him. He will give him protection. So Parikit Maharaj didn't kill the Kali. Then when Kali asked for these places, he gave him four places. Do you understand? What are those four places? Thanani Kalaya Dadu, Dhyutam Striyam, Banu, Suna. Jatra dharma chaturvidha. Isn't it? 
फास्टिंग फोक ले दीतम स्त्रियों पानो सुना जोत्रा धर्म तो वे तारा दिस फोर सिंपल एक्टिविटीज हाँ यू आर देयर दो जारी हो प्लेस फास्टिंग इस दीतम इस गैम्बलिंग हम्म पानो मेंस हर से इंटॉक्सिकेशन पानो देन इलिसिट सेक्स त्रियो देन सुना एनिमल किली जानते हैं these four places fast giving these four places these are the four pillars of sinful activity isn't it all are engaged in this thing isn't it and it is rampant in your quest ha huh? all are engaged in this. as he is saying ah uh, if somebody is not going to the bar taking a strange creature is not going to the bar strange creature you see it's considered strange creature हाँ ये से कल कम ही से टीनेजर ये समबडी टीनेजर ही नॉट गोइंग टू दी बार देखो वो इसे स्ट्रेंज क्रिचर हाँ ये से इस कॉन्सेप्ट दाल आर एंगेज्ड इन दिस सिंपल एक्टिविटी हम्म सो पर किस महाराज गेव इन दिस पर्पस बट कॉली वाज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट ही थॉट ओ इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट दिस प्लेसेस य In the kingdom of Parikshit Maharaj, nobody does this thing. Huh? It's very difficult to get these places. There were no. This is not sufficient. Uh, please give me one place more. Punasso jato manayo jato rupa modatra, isn't it? Then he gave him fifth place. You understand? Parikshit Maharaj gave him fifth place. What is that fifth place? This is the dhama. This dhama, you understand? Gold, khono ko. Gold means material wealth, money. This gold, you understand? And your, if you are an economic student, you can understand this policy. Huh? The same value of gold should be there in the reserve bank. Then you produce paper currency. Isn't it? They're not economic. Is there an economic student? Isn't it? I was a, I was an economic student. Oh, I know this thing. Isn't it? Are you? <laughs> this is the production of the paper currency. So the value of gold should pass. Ah, freezer in the reserve bank. Then they will ah print this. Then produce this paper currency. Then say this gold. Gold means money. Then say is money is wealth, material wealth, asset, money. That's gold. That's the place of money. And all are running after this money, 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 money. Brighter than sunshine, sweeter than honey, isn't it? At the here, manusika says, "Dhana ma dhani tanto shar." This is the place of money. The the work shall be done. Shall we throw up this gold, this money? Huh? Isn't it? Can we do this thing? It's a place of calling. Huh? Now you have given up this. You have come here taking now these lessons, the Mahapurush teachings. You have come. You are such fortunate. You have. You are some sukurdi in previous life. Anyhow, you have come here. Now you are uh, following these four regulatory principles: no gambling, no feasting, meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit sex. Isn't it? That means, in other words, we may say you are not doing any sinful activity, but you have not given up this thought of this money, huh? If I have not given up this thought of money, running after this money, then how you are free from clauses of kali, influence of kali? Huh? Can you be? Huh? No, because that is also the place of kali, fifth place. Parikshit Maharaj gave it. Then how can we utilize this money or wealth? Huh? 
भोगीर कनक भोगेर जनक कनेक द्वार सेव हो माधव महाजन से भोगीर कनक भोगेर जनक कनक द्वार सेव हो माधव दि भोगी दि मेटलिस्टिक पर्सन हु इज आफ्टर दिस मेटलिस्टिक एंजयमेंट He utilizes this conak of this morning gold for his own enjoyment, isn't it? Thereby he comes. He is influenced by kali. He becomes influenced by kali. Under he comes under the grip of kali. But Mahasam says, "Bhogira conak of bhogira sir. Kona karadar seva mat. Conak means gold means money means lakshmi, isn't it?" You say, how much lucky point? <laughs> Isn't it? Huh? You know, you won't say here. How much lucky point? Isn't it? It's lucky. Huh? You say lucky. The lucky will serve Madhav, Narayan. Why lucky will serve you? Is lucky your servant? Huh? Lucky is servant of Lord Narayan. Isn't it? माधव दैट माधव कोने कर दारे सेवा हो माधव यस दिस इज द प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ दिस कोने का इज गोल्ड और मनी यू अर्न मनी एंड यूटिलाइज दैट मनी फॉर द सर्विस ऑफ माधव यू अंडरस्टैंड देन दैट विल बी दैट दैट मनी विल नॉट बी द प्लेस ऑफ कली अदरवाइज इट इज If you utilize it for your own sense gratification, for your own enjoyment, it is place of kali. If you utilize it for service of Madhava, Narayan, then it is not place of kali. That is said. Jodi tha ke bahu dono, nijhe ho be okin chon, boishna be ro koru pokar. Maasuna sinstras. Huh? If you have much wealth. Opponents don't utilize that money or wealth for your own enjoyment. You understand? Nijhe ho be okin chon. This morning we are discussing, isn't it? Sanatan Goswami, isn't it? Chakta tur nam tu chabat ase samandala pating bhutta di na gane sako kopi na gane. टेड पोजिशन Very high elevated social status. They were ministers, chief ministers, what not? They killed everybody. Good God, he na gani sabo. They become kinchan. They put on country and copian. Do you understand? Huh? Because they know. Unless the dhan, the wealth is utilized for the service of Madhav and Narayan, then it is place of kali. Place of calling means there is enmity, there is jealousy, there is anurudha, mitya, false, false sort, isn't it? Everything is there. Where there is this money, this wealth, there is enmity, huh? there is pride, there is falsity, mitya, huh? enviousness, jealousy, hypocrisy, all these things are there. Isn't it? In one place, everything is there. When Parikhit Maharaj gave this one place, Kali got all this in one place. That is in money, in money, in wealth. Don't know. You understand? Then Maharaj, Jadi tha ke bahu do, nijo ho be okin chon, boishna be ro koru pokar. Yes, according to her. कारण मुखी सुकृति यू हैव गॉट ना मच मेटेरियल अपोलेंस 
isn't it? Especially here in the West, people have karman mukhi sukruti. Therefore, they have got such material opulence here, isn't it? How they have got? Because of their karman mukhi sukruti. Huh? Three types of sukruti are there. Do you understand? Karma mukhi sukruti, jnana mukhi sukruti, bhakti mukhi sukruti. Three types of sukruti. Hmm? And out of the three types of sukruti, bhakti mukhi sukruti is the best type of sukruti. One who had this, who has this bhakti mukhi sukruti, he comes for this association of sadhus. Do you understand? He comes. Sadhu sangha karai. He comes for here. Otherwise, won't come. This question of sukruti. Then, most of the people have this kind of karma mukhi sukruti. Those are born in the West. And they have such much material opulence. Do you understand? Jodi thake bahuda, nija hape vincho. Utilize that material opulence, that money for the service of Narayana Mahadava. Don't utilize for your own enjoyment. You become a kinchan, you become poor, you become poor. Do you understand? Like Goswamis, they are leading such uh, poor life. Outwardly they are very poor. Nothing, they had no asset. Kaupin kanti, kanti kaupin, shira kantha, karoya matra. One water pot and tattered quilt. Yes, that was their asset. The nothing they had. Because they were very wealthy persons. Huh? Isn't it? Very, very wealthy persons. That touchstone came with such an huh? invaluable, you see. Wonderful stone, invaluable stone. Sparsamani, touchstone. If you Touch a piece of iron to it. Immediately that piece of iron turned into gold. Such stone, you see, that came and rolled at the feet of Sanatan Goswami. He kicked. Still it's coming. It came, it came. You see, yeah, that story. One Brahmin, one poor Brahmin was there in Kasi. Mm, he was very poor. So he was worshipping Lord Shiva. Kashi Vishwanath, famous temple, Shiva temple in Kashi, he was worshipping. And Shiva became pleased with him. Mm, he said, all right, you are a poor man, you want dhana, mm, material wealth, all right, you go to Vrindavan, there is Sanatana Goswami, he will give you dhana. He has dhana. You understand? Shiva said that. Right, right. So he came from Kashi, he came to Vrindavan. Then he asked, where is Sanatana Goswami? People say there is no specific place where he stays. He wanders here and there. Uh, you go and you may find him somewhere in the jungle of Vrindavan. So by chance he found him. He was sitting under a tree, mm, uh, doing his bhajan, writing his books. He fortunately met him. Mm. Then he paid obeisances and said, I have come from Kasi. And Sivaji has said, you have dhana, wealth. Huh? Please give me. Shivaji has said. Then what? What dhana I have? Don't you see? I have this water pot, I have this tattered quilt, and scope in and country, nothing else. No wealth. No wealth. Nothing you see. What wealth is that? What wealth do you want? Huh? Shivaji said. Shivaji is not a liar. But Shiva said, yes, you must have. Then he thought of, oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I could now remember. Once I was going to take bath in the Jamuna early in the morning at 4 a.m. Ah, oh, one touch, stone touched my feet. Oh, that was a very bad day. Very bad day. Such nasty thing touched my feet. He said, touch stone, such an invaluable stone, you see. Ah, if you touch a piece of iron, immediately it will turn into gold. Uh, but he said, very bad day. So, I had put it under the sand of Jamuna there. Uh, you go and take it. He mm, um, gave him the exact place. Mm, then, then Brahmin went there. He, put a, uh, he took a piece of iron with him. Fortunately, he found that stone and tossed it immediately to stand into gold. 
होय पक्का देने मी डेटल थॉट ऑफ हाउ सनातन गोस्वामी की डेट एंड सेड दैट्स अ वेरी बैड डे क्या नहीं बॉडी की की डॉ हां ना यू आर स्टडीइंग थिंकिंग ऑफ हाउ आई विल कम आउट एज आर्किटेक्ट ग्रेजुएट सो आई विल बिकम अ सच आर्किटेक्ट अर्न सो मच मनी डू दिस डू लुक लाइक दिस लाइक दिस इजंट इट हां बिल्डिंग कैसल्स इन द एयर इजंट इट यू आर बिल्डिंग कैसल्स इन द एयर <laughs> so if you can get such stuff done why you do all these things ha huh? <laughs> rata rat within one night lamba gadi very long beer <laughs> isn't it it could be that is thinking what is this why did sanatana goswami say like this is very bad day kick it up can anybody kick it up no 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 he might have more valuable more valuable wealth he might have with him otherwise can anybody kick it up he thought of like that then he came back and asked sanatana goswami you might have more valuable wealth with you otherwise nobody can kick it up i want that wealth then sanatana goswami said you want that wealth then you have to kick it up us this kind of this stuff stone then you can have it otherwise how can you have it they mean deeply so so it up you understand because of this association of adu sanatan goswami se association he developed so the renunciation so detachment for this in valuable stuff stone money you understand I mean it to it. Then Sanatan Goswami said, "I have this thana, the Hari Nam Dham. No, Nama Sadrusam Dhanam. No, Nama Sadrusam Dhanam. This Hari Holy Name is the one. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare." This thana I have. प्रेम धना, this is प्रेम धना, हाँ, दासों को री बेतन मरे, देव प्रेम धनो, हाँ, दासों को री बेतन मरे, देव प्रेम धनो, this is the prayer of the devotee, you understand? Oh Lord, I am your servant, eternal servant, you are my eternal master, please accept me as your servant, I will serve you in return. please give me that prem dhan i don't want this material asset dhan i want accept any other dhan das kari vetan mare deo prem prem dhan bina daridra e jivan i am poor because devoid of being bereft of that prem dhan you understand i am poor bereft of that prem prem dhan प्रेम धन बिना दरिद्र जीवन दास करी वेतन मरे देव प्रेम महाजन जदि थे बहुत धन निज हम किंच वैष्णवर करणमुखी सुकृति यू हाफेरियलू बिकम फुअर भलेटरी And utilize all your dhan for the service of Vaishnav. You understand? Mahaprabhu says, Vaishnav seva na, Krishna puja na, nirantaro koro, Krishna naam sankirtan. This is your duty. You serve Vaishnav, thereby Krishna will be served. Krishna will be served. And always chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. राधा कृष्ण आराधना जीवे दयानुक्षण वैष्णव कर उपकार जीवे दयानुक्षण राधा कृष्ण आराधन कर सदा हय सदाचार हलो वैष्णव टिकेट सदाचार हर्षिव राधा कृष्ण जीवे दयानुक्षण Be merciful to the jeevas. What is that mercy? 
Noi manus of Jeeva Loki, Jeeva Hunta Sanatana. Jeeva, living entity, spirit soul, is eternally my part and parcel, Krishna says. See Jeeva in that way. Oh, it's Krishna's part and parcel. It's Krishna's part and parcel. So how can you kill that innocent animal? Huh? How can you kill it? It's my food. Is my food. Huh? It's Krishna's part and parcel. Do you understand? This is real. Jive doya. Nami ruchi jive doya. Vaishnu This is Vaishnu vachar. Nami ruchi jive doya. Develop test for name and jive doya. That is jive doya no khyonar ara Krishna ara dhon. Or sudha, koi sudha chahar. This is Mahajana's instruction, Sadhu's instruction. Do you understand? And Mahajana, they know what the Those who follow the prudence of Mahajana, they are safe. Safest path. There is no danger. Otherwise, other path is beset with danger. Beset with danger. Pade pade vipadam. Every step there is danger here in this material. It's such a nasty place. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosai Prabhupada says, this is not at all a, not at all a fit place. For any gentleman to live. Do you understand? Not at all a fit place for any gentleman to live this material. Do you find it's a very nice place? Anil, now what is his name? Anil. Anil Sarma. Huh? Do you find nice place? Do you find? Not now. Huh? Not now. Not now. Uh, now he has not experienced the effect of this. You have not experienced? I have. But now I feel it's not a very nice place. I used to think it was. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, my grand guru, says this thing. Such a nasty place. Not at all a fit place for any gentleman to live. In his words, those who live, they are not gentlemen at all. <laughs> any gentleman cannot live here. Isn't it? So those who are living, who are they? In the language of Bhakti Siddhanta, they are not gentlemen. <laughs> they are not gentlemen. Not a fit place for any gentleman to live. Yes, actually that is so. It's in fact such a nasty place. And temporary dukhare na sasudu. Filled with misery. Pade pade If you step there is danger. Such uncertainty. Any moment, what will Happen the next moment is so uncertain, you can't say. So many things takes place every day, you see. Huh? When, mm, yes, this uh, Dharma Bhakka asked that question to Jishri Maharaj, Kimas Sarju, huh? Kimas Sarju. What is uh, wonderful here? Do you understand? What is wonderful here? Do you know what answer Jishti Maharaj gave? Huh? Anil, you know? You don't know? Krishna Bhakti. Wonderful. Kimaster <laughs> Jung, what is wonderful here in this material world? Yes, no hurry, you say? Bolo? Hmm. Yes, speak in English. Yudhishthira said, mm. said that mm. the most wonderful thing is not your word in that. Mm. Everybody sees others. Mm. They are going to die. Yeah. And he, he said, oh, they are all going to die, but mm. I won't die. Mm. I won't die. I will live. Mm. Yeah, I will stay here. Mm. He sees that everyone is dying. Oh, honey. Do you understand? Do you understand? Ahoni, ahoni, bhutani, gotsanti, jama mandiram. Sesa, jivitumi, chanti, kimas, sajyam, otapara. He gave this answer. Huh? Every day you see, so many are dying. So many. You cannot calculate how many are dying, isn't it? Every day, so many are dying. Ahoni, ahoni, bhutani, gotsanti, jama mandiram. Going to the abode of Jamaraj, that means dying. 
You see also, no? Yesterday I saw him, huh? Mr. Tom, Mr. John, my friend, I saw yesterday. I was talking with him. Oh, he died today. Oh, he died today. You see, it's going on. But say, Sahaji, with me, oh, he died. I won't die. I won't die. He dies. I won't die. This is wonderful. <laughs> This is wonderful here. He dies, but I won't die. <laughs> this is wonderful, you see. He says also, Dehapatyo atmasanyasu asatsu api te sang pramatta nidhanam pasyannapi na pasyati pasyannapi na pasyati Though he sees, he doesn't see. Though he sees, he doesn't see. Person no pino possibility. This is wonderful. Do you understand what I say? They have put your cordialis. Atmosphere is so absurd. There's some promotor is an unperson no pino possibility. Colotra means wife. The home means body. Apotio means children, sons, daughters. They are all dying, isn't it? Huh? Osot. These are osot. Are these sot? Is it all sot? Do you understand? Temporary, any moment it will die, it will finish. And you see, I see, he sees. Isn't it? Everybody see this thing. Ah, but Pramatma Nidhanam Pasyanapi Napasyati. Though they see, they cannot see. Though they see, they cannot see. How they are pure, Lord. Pramatya. Bhago. Mad. They have all become mad. Mad. You understand? Though they see the cannot see. This is wonderful. You understand? This is wonderful. Therefore, uh, Sadhu comes who has perfect vision. Mm. He gives us this instruction mm. how we can fulfill the purpose of our life, human life, achieve eh, the supreme perfection of our life. Chance has been given to us. Mm. After undergoing lakhs and lakhs of species of life, Supreme Lord has given us chance. We have gotten this human form of body. Mm, though it is temporary, still orthodox, in this very life, we can get Krishna. Yes. Is Krishna the only activity? Because uh, once uh, Tantra came from Vida, in uh, Radharani was worshipping time in order to get uh, Krishna in every particle of time. Yeah. Here, in Bhumadhi, only. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I say when he comes, he kills demon here. So is he killing demon there? If demons are there. If demons are there in the spiritual world, then I what is the question of killing? There is no woman here. Here here it is parakya There is no parakya there. Sukya. This is subtle thought. You can't understand. Your material mind, how can you material mind? How can you consider this inconsiderable? Achintya. You understand why he says achintya? You cannot consider because you have material mind. Huh? With material mind, how can you conceive that thing? It's beyond your conception. Yes, yes. Thank you. The question of review is. In the consciousness, we will completely lessen consciousness. Then you can understand. It's a question of revelation. It's not a question of logic that you can establish this thing. Don't add any logic to it. Or go to this process.
Et elle se lève de Diva. Je suis un petit peu plus de la vie. Je suis un petit peu plus de la vie. Je suis un petit peu plus de la vie. Je suis un petit peu plus de la vie. She's saying that if uh, Kala is considered like uh, Krishna, Krishna then if we are under form. the influence of Kala, then you why are we... The Krishna? universal form of Krishna is not his true form. Do you understand? Huh? Universal form of Krishna is not his true form. You said the beginning. I said the beginning. <laughs> it is the manifestation. It is his... This universal manifestation. <laughs> understand the existence of Lord from this. How Lord is existing from this universal manifestation. That is his source. Don't become a test that Lord doesn't ex- exist. In order to give this knowledge, he manifested this. No, I am existing. And how I am existing, you see. Do you understand? We have to learn from that. Learn from that. Become a test. And taste. <laughs> Don't become a test. That he says. Don't become a taste. Become taste. Believe in the existence of God. That he says. That, therefore he manifested this with universal power. Do you understand? But his Sajidananda Vigra is true power. That you cannot understand now. All you understand, yes, Lord is existing. Then accept Guru, under him do sadhana, make Advancement, then you can see Sajdhananda Vigraha. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, what am I saying? We should accept the, the three principles you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ishwara, Vaisava, Dharma, Dharma, Dharma. Dharma, Tushakshad. Bhagavad Pranidha. Guru is uh, controlling our mind. What happened in the case of Married life, husband should control the mind of the wife because he is considered as master. <laughs> guru controls. Yes, guru controls. Uh-huh. How can husband control? Husband is controlled by guru. 
wipe it from the face. It looked like a tornado. Ah, husband means master, literary meaning is master. And the wife should be devoted to husband. Uh, if husband is wish, wish. That is why it's hard. How can you teach others? Vaishnavi is teacher. We are mm, leading this married life uh, based on the relationship of other channel. So you can teach a Vaishnavi, and Vaishnavi will teach. You understand? If you won't be devoted to your husband, why the others will be? Guru has said, Sastra has said, Vaishnavi is devoted to You understand? Narvai Krishna will be pleased. Because he is a Vaishnava. Husband is a Vaishnava. Voice. Well, husband should also. That's right. Also, wife is a Vaishnava. Hmm? So husband should also serve. Why? Serving Vaishnava. Vaishnava. As wife will serve, husband will also serve. You understand? That is mutual service. You understand? 